My music is the spiritual expression of what I am. My faith, my knowledge, my being. John was a genius. I just thought, oh my God, his mind and his heart is there in a place that everybody ought to reach for. Meet the man called Train. It's like talking about Beethoven, Shakespeare, an artistic genius and a spiritual giant. The sound that was all his own. His tone is so striking. I mean, no one had that tone on the horn during that time. John Coltrane's sound rearranges molecular structure. People were like, what? A story of faith. His grandfather was a preacher. Music and spirituality is the DNA of what John Coltrane is all about. A story of adversity. Coltrane was by no means the only great musician who had drug problems. When he looked into the abyss, he was either going to go down and die or go up and become even greater. A story of transcendence. It touches you in your spirit where you're like, I know this is coming from another place. I think I play that album more than I play any other album in my life. That type of artistic achievement stays around. It's mythic because of the sacrifice involved, and it will remain mythic. My goals remain the same, to uplift people as much as I can, to inspire them to realize more and more of their capacities for living meaningful lives. John Coltrane was ahead of his time. You know, some people play jazz, some people play reggae, some people play blues. He played life. Chasing Train.